It's over. You ready now? <coughs> huh? Okay. This is a statement by Azmiola Moja on scheduled talks. We have met today to review the situation in the country against the background of planned dialogue with the Kenya Kwanzaa. The meeting also took place against the background of a running somber mood across different parts of the country, occasioned by police brutality. If you want to know how brutal and murderous our security forces were in the protests, you have to pay attention to the burials that are taking place across Kenya. You have all attended some, and we will be attending some more in the near future. We can confirm that police killed and wounded many Kenyans. It should never have happened. It should never have happened again. And more importantly, we will do whatever it takes to ensure justice for the victims. We will ensure the perpetrators of these crimes pay. And it is actually very disappointing to see a statement from Inspector General of Police, Mr. Kome, saying that we hired dead bodies <laughs> to <laughs> accuse police of brutality. I don't know in which world he lives. Because the bodies we've been burying have bullet wounds on them. And death, and death certificates, and death certificates so confirming the cause of death. One whose uh, who's neck was just chopped off in Sondo. Another one was a victim of arrow attack. So these are real, real deaths of human beings <laughs> killed by Mr. Kion Mr. Komi's goons masquerading as police officers. We continue to extend our sincere heartfelt condolences to families who lost loved ones and those who were injured. We thank all those who have contributed to our benevolence fund that has enabled us to extend some little help to victims and their families. We continue gathering data on victims both the dead and the wounded, and we will continue extending to them whatever help we can. We appeal to all the people of goodwill to continue contributing to the fund. 
in solidarity with our quest for a free, just, and a fair country that is governed in line with the Constitution and puts a high premium, premium on the lives and rights of citizens. If Kenya was governed by the rule of law, if Kenya had a caring government, the people we are burying and those recuperating would not have suffered that fate. Regarding the planned talks with the Kenya Kwanzaa, we are here to announce that we are ready. We are particularly ready to return to Bomas of Kenya. We continue regarding Bomas of Kenya as a sacred ground when it comes to the quest for reform, change, and national healing. Our team remains as previously announced. One is His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, who is the delegation leader. Two Honorable James Apia Wandai, leader of minority party, who will be the strict person for the delegation. Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, party leader of DAP. Honorable Colonel Mugen, Yamira. And Honorable Amira Nyanzi, MP Malindi. The issues for discussion from our side remain. One, cost of living. Two, audit of the 2022 presidential election results. Three, the restructuring and reconstitution of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and related matters. Four, measures to prevent interference with political parties. Five, outstanding constitutional matters, that is governance issues, adequate checks and balances, and the question of boundaries delimitation. As we said earlier, the team we have picked reflects the importance we attach to these talks. We picked the team with the full understanding that the country is on a wrong trajectory. Anyone who thinks otherwise is being delusional. With this reality in mind, we have put in place a technical and legal team to support our delegation to the dialogue. Consequently, we have settled on Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, to head the legal and technical team to the talks. We have tasked our delegation and our technical teams under the able leadership of His Excellency Kalonzo and Kioni to go to these talks with the courage of and open minds. It takes courage and open minds to establish common ground in situations of dispute. We have told our delegation, and we want all Kenyans to understand that engaging in honest dialogue does not amount to surrender or cowardice. We must see it as an act of strength and a matter of common sense. We remain committed to negotiating in good faith on the basis of a plan to achieve a comprehensive settlement of the country's problems through dialogue. We stand for transparent, above-board, and speedy talks guided by decorum, honesty, and respect for the people of Kenya. As a party, we believe that this country deserves peace, not paralysis. That is why 
we have stood down our protests to give dialogue and peace a chance. We appeal to Kenya Kwanzaa that vitriol must now end because it won't work. Propaganda must now end because it has not solved our problems this past year, and it won't in the coming year. Our people and the whole world are watching us, and we encourage them to watch us and to hold us to account. Finally, I wish to thank the team that was led by Honorable Otiende Amolo for what they did in representing Azimio in those talks that collapsed. They have agreed to remain as uh, a backup to the team that we have just selected here today. Uh, and we thank them for the sh showing solidarity, courage in representing Azimio in those, those talks. Uh, very finally, I want to reiterate once again here, Azimio is not interested in handshake. We don't want to shake anybody's hands. But look at those people whose hands are tainted with the blood of innocent Kenyans. But we have agreed to negotiate in good faith, as we have mentioned, so that we can be able to move our country from where it is today to a peace, so that justice can finally be our shield and defender. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much.